As I'm sure I don't have to tell you, almost every website that you'll come across has a contact page, and when you visit that contact page, there's a form for you to fill out in order to get in touch with the website owner. Let's look at how easy it is to create a custom contact page with an extension. And what we'll do is we are going to link that contact form to a menu so that you can include a contact us button up here at the top or a contact us menu item here at the top for visitors to click to get in touch with you. Going to your control panel, let's go ahead and go to install extensions here on the left hand side. We're going to look for an extension called Flexi Contact. You'll see that there are two options, Flexi Contact and Flexi Contact Plus. And you'll see that this is a paid extension here. Let's go ahead and go with the free one. You can click download. It is going to take us to the Flexi Contact developer website. And you'll see that they'll list out both of the free and the paid options for you so you can see the differences. Here at the bottom, you'll be able to download the actual component itself and the user guide. Going to the user guide, you'll get step-by-step -step instructions for how to customize every option that is there. That's something you definitely want to look for when you're selecting an option. But I'm going to go ahead and download the free component. And I'm going to return to my extension manager. And I'm going to upload the package file here just as we did in the install extensions video. I'll click on the icon and I will upload this zip file and you'll see it just takes just a moment and we'll have a success message that this has been installed. Now typically once it has been installed you can go to components and you can pull down to flexi contact however you'll see that's not here. That typically is the case however if it is not let me show you the trick. We can from our extension manager go to the manage button on the left hand side and you'll see here's where all the extensions have been installed. You can search for Flexi Contact and you'll see here that it is not enabled. So simply clicking on this button here under status will enable it and it is now successfully enabled. Now returning to your components menu you will see it there. So now under Flexi Contact you have a configuration menu and here is where you will be able to edit everything the confirmation page, actual fields that will appear on your form, meaning name, phone number, email, message, etc., text that appears above and below your form, everything that you'll need. But before we do any of that, let's go ahead and take a look at what the form looks like if you don't touch any of these settings. Let's create a Contact Us menu. Going to Menu, we're going to go to our main menu that appears at the top of our site and I'm going to click New. I want to create a new Contact Us menu. We need to select the menu item type and here you'll notice that there is now a Flexi Contact option. We have an original or a responsive page. I want the responsive page. That means it's just going to work well on all mobile devices. I'm going to put Contact Us and Save and Close. Save once I have my success message, I'll return to my main site. I will refresh, and you'll see I now have a contact menu. So let's click on that. It says the email address configured in the menu is invalid. So let's return there real quick. And going into the menu, I can go to options, and I'll see I have to put where I want the email to go to. So I can simply type in my email, click save and close, I get a success message, we can return to the site and refresh, and ta-da, there it is. I have a contact form, I, it asks for the user's name, email address, uh, it looks like this is something we should be able to edit in the background, uh, their phone number, so it looks like there's a couple duplicate forms or form fields here and all we'll need to do is go back to our Flexi Contact component, click on Configuration, and go to Form Fields. Now here's the list. How many items? One, two, three, four. That's not something standard. We can disable that, but that shows you how you can create a list for someone to select. Uh, 
it looks like name and email is something that's already mandatory or included. So that's why these are duplicate. So we can remove those and leave the phone number. Clicking Save and Close. Let's go back and take a look. And it's fixed. So you can see how easy that is to do. If I want to include text at the top of the form, I can click here. I'll get my text editor. And I will type in a message, click Save and Close, refresh, and there it is. I have the text. So as you can see, you can customize this in any way that you choose, and different contact extensions will all work differently. So select the one that works best for you.